Once upon a time, there was a married couple who decided to spend a lovely day in the heart of nature. They arrived at a secluded spot, ready to enjoy the outdoors and indulge in some delicious fruit. The woman suddenly felt the onset of labor pains. She was about to give birth. Without a moment's hesitation, her husband swiftly gathered their belongings and rushed her towards their waiting car. Meanwhile, in the forest, life carried on as usual. Underneath a leaf, three little ladybugs hatched from their eggs and tumbled gently to the forest floor. Their concerned parents, hovering nearby, rushed to their side. They began teaching their tiny offspring the art of spreading their delicate wings and taking flight. At first, the baby ladybugs were not very skilled at flying. One of them clumsily landed on a rough rock, legs flailing in the air. However, with each passing moment, they improved, mimicking their parents' graceful movements until they soared over the grasses and the meandering river. Then, something curious caught the attention of one of the young ladybugs. It heard uproarious laughter emanating from the nearby bushes. Driven by curiosity, it ventured deeper into the forest, following the source of the laughter. There, perched on a stump, sat a little fly that seemed to be giggling uncontrollably. The ladybug landed next to the fly, eager to make a new acquaintance. Suddenly, the jovial atmosphere took a dark turn. Four large flies materialized out of nowhere, encircling the ladybug and emitting menacing buzzing sounds. Terrified, the ladybug tried to flee, but the relentless flies pursued her relentlessly. In her panic, she miscalculated her strength, collided with a rock, and tumbled into a crevice, losing one of her precious wings in the process. The flies continued to hover over the crevice for a while before eventually flying away, leaving the injured ladybug behind. As evening descended upon the forest, raindrops began to fall, and the ladybug, still trapped in the crevice, called out for help, but there was no one around to answer her plea. With great effort, she managed to crawl out of the crevice and, driven by desperation, embarked on a journey through the open forest, seeking shelter from the impending rain. Her search led her to a small sugar box that had been left behind by humans. Seeking refuge from the rain, she climbed inside, hoping for a safe night's rest. Morning arrived with a cacophony of buzzing sounds. Peering out of the sugar box, the ladybug observed a multitude of insects, caterpillars, beetles, and bugs, diligently carrying human food items to their respective homes. Flies were busy with chips, bedbugs shared cookies and a box of matches, and the ants were drawn to the scent of sugar. In the midst of this organized chaos, the ladybug decided to climb into the sugar box, seeking safety from the bustling activity outside. Fortunately, the ants didn't notice her presence as they indulged in the sweet delight of sugar. One bite of the sugar sent their leader into a state of ecstasy, prompting him to call his fellow ants over to partake in the newfound treasure. With the box filled with jubilant ants, they set off toward their anthill, unknowingly carrying the ladybug on this unexpected journey. As the ants journeyed onwards, they eventually reached a high rock where their leader signaled the colony to gather and await their arrival. However, their path was soon obstructed by a gang of menacing red ants, their intentions far from friendly. The leader of the black ants, quick on his feet, offered a single sugar cube to appease the red ants and then made a hasty retreat, instructing his comrades to carry the box away. Infuriated at not receiving the entire sugar stash, the red ants gave chase, closing in as they approached a steep slope. In a daring move, the black ants climbed atop the sugar-filled box, rocking it precariously before shoving it down the slope. And so, the ladybug found herself unwittingly swept up in this thrilling escapade, her once peaceful picnic adventure now transformed into an exhilarating journey through the heart of the forest. The red ants wasted no time as they stumbled upon a discarded soda can. They scurried inside and rolled the can down the slope, mirroring the wild journey of the black ants' sugar box. The two containers swiftly plunged into the mountain river, carried away by the strong current. The ladybug, struggling to maintain her balance in the tumultuous water, was suddenly noticed by a hungry pike. 
the predator gave chase, relentlessly pursuing its tiny prey. The ladybug was swept downstream, the pike hot on her trail. It encountered rocks along the way, but refused to give up the pursuit. Back on the shore, the black ants recognized the dire situation and made a courageous decision. Forming a chain by holding on to each other, they plunged into the water to rescue their imperiled friend. Together, they managed to reach the struggling ladybug and bring her back to safety. As they resumed their journey, a new obstacle loomed ahead, a massive waterfall. Without hesitation, the insects climbed into the sugar box, bracing themselves for the dramatic descent. The red ants, in their relentless pursuit, followed suit. Yet, when they reached the bottom, the jar of red ants and the pike became trapped, while the red ants inside the jar miraculously floated to the surface. Now free from their arduous adventures, the black ants and the ladybug reclaimed the surviving sugar cubes from the box and continued their journey toward the anthill. As they ventured forth, a familiar buzzing sound caught the ladybug's attention. She spotted a group of her fellow ladybugs nearby, and the desire to join them welled up within her. However, her partially healed wing rendered her unable to soar alongside her kin. Frustrated but determined, she hurriedly followed the marching black ants. The following day, the red ants finally caught up with the black ants as they crossed a roadway. In a daring move, the black ants decided to take their chances and continued onward despite an approaching car. The leader of the red ants, however, initiated a hot pursuit while his fellow red ants cowered in fear. Miraculously, the black ants narrowly escaped the looming car and carried on their journey. Eventually, they reached their destination, the ant hill. The ladybug was welcomed into the bustling ant community. Every worker ant diligently collected their harvest and presented it to their queen. She rewarded their hard work by laying eggs, especially when her antennae sensed the sweetness of sugar, which sent her into a state of pure bliss. Meanwhile, the leader of the red ants managed to discover the location of the black ants' anthill. Fueled by anger and resentment, he hurried to inform his queen. She wasted no time in ordering her red ant army to prepare for an attack. Armed with chestnuts, stones, slingshots, and even bug spray, the red ants formed a formidable army. As night fell, the black ant colony grew eerily quiet. Everyone, including the ladybug, settled in for the night's rest. Within the ladybug's dream, she envisioned her own family of ladybugs gracefully soaring over a picturesque meadow, a sight that filled her heart with longing. Waking from her dream, the ladybug ascended to the anthill's summit, discovering a heartening development. Her second wing was slowly growing back. This promising sign meant that she would soon regain the ability to fly, filling her with joy and anticipation. The next morning, the black ants were rudely awakened by a growing buzz in the distance. It was an overwhelming army of red ants, fast approaching their ant hill. The red ants wasted no time in loading their slingshots with ammunition, ready to unleash a barrage upon the black ant colony. The black ants attempted to defend their home by dropping cotton swabs, tablets, and salt onto the attackers. However, the red ants' relentless assault caused severe damage. In desperation, the black ant queen summoned their leader and the ladybug and sent them to seek aid from the ant scientist. The ant scientist, upon hearing their plight, rummaged through his stash and handed over a box of matches and firecrackers. The black ants quickly placed the firecrackers on the anthill's roof, preparing for a decisive defense. But the enemy showed no sign of relenting and began storming the anthill entrance. The leader of the black ants, his antennae twitching with tension, struck a match and lit the firecracker. It twirled in the air before exploding, inflicting significant casualties upon the red ant army. However, the lone match quickly extinguished, leaving the black ants vulnerable to the renewed onslaught. In a moment of revelation, the ladybug recalled spotting a box of matches left behind by humans before she had met the ants. She urgently shared this information with her fellow ants and promised to retrieve the matches for them. Her friends constructed a makeshift paper airplane to aid her flight, but as they watched, she began to take flight on her own. The black ants are very hopeful for her speedy return. 
the ladybug flies to the correct spot. Without much difficulty, the ladybug's second wing had almost fully grown, allowing her to move quickly. Her mission was clear, retrieve the box of matches to aid her ant friends in defending their anthill. As she attempted to lift the heavy box, she noticed a spider creeping nearby. The spider effortlessly picked up the box and carried it to his lair, with the ladybug following closely behind. The spider's home turned out to be an abandoned tube within a toy castle, and the ladybug stealthily entered. It became apparent that the spider needed the matches to secure his intricate web. However, before the ladybug could react, a toad lurking behind the window made a sudden move. The toad's powerful grasp caught the ladybug, and a struggle ensued. Desperately clinging to the windowsill, the ladybug resisted, but the toad's relentless pull resulted in the toy castle collapsing upon itself, ending the toad's life. Unconscious from the ordeal, the ladybug drifted into a dream once more, envisioning herself soaring through meadows with her family. She eventually regained consciousness within the spider's cottage. Grateful for her unwitting assistance in dispatching the toad, the spider offered the ladybug nourishment and handed her the box of matches with understanding. With matches in her possession, the ladybug took flight once more, determined to aid her insect friends. Along her journey, she overheard the taunting laughter of flies who were tormenting another ladybug. Without hesitation, she dropped the matches and rushed to confront the troublemakers, diverting their attention away from her fellow ladybug. With her mission in mind, she raced towards the highway. As a car passed by, the ladybug confidently flew towards it, executing a daring dive at the last moment, narrowly avoiding a collision. The flies, however, weren't as fortunate and crashed into the car's headlight, incapacitated and grounded. The ladybug returned to the injured ladybug, exchanged pleasantries, and promised to return soon. With a fresh box of matches in hand, she continued her journey towards the severely damaged ant hill. Arriving with a triumphant cry, she flew over the army of red ants and delivered the matches to the ant hill summit. Her ant friends cheered her on as they armed themselves with the matches and ignited the firecrackers. The fiery explosions illuminated the ant hill causing the tank of ant poison to ignite. The red ants, overcome by the noxious fumes, were forced to flee the battlefield, their cries pitiful. Though victorious, a real fire broke out around the ant hill, threatening their home once more. The ladybug and surviving ants sought refuge in the main hall. Suddenly, a strange noise filled the air, and a plane appeared, dousing the flames with foam. While the fire was extinguished, the foam began to erode the anthill. Emerging from the rubble, the surviving ants and ladybug surveyed the scene in solemn silence. Time passed, and the ladybug grew into adulthood. She reunited with her friend, the one she had saved from the tormenting flies. Together, they started a family, raising five young ladybugs who had learned to fly. The ladybug family soared over the meadow, savoring the tranquility. Back at the anthill, the hard-working black ants diligently rebuilt their home, undeterred by the trials they had faced. The ladybug remained true to her friendship with the ants, meeting her friend in a picturesque place as they enjoyed a peaceful sunset together. Which character you liked the most? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Flick Spoilers signing off.